2012. The pistol emoji. All present parties seem to be on the same page. That is, except for Microsoft. They've gone with a more playful ray gun style toy pistol. Always unpredictable with your Unicode, Microsoft. That's why we like you. 2013 rolls around and Google tries to make a play, changing their emoji into a flintlock pistol, taking away the modern violence associated with the handguns. Hey guys, maybe we could stop glorifying handguns. After all, if we're going to treat emojis like language, we need to understand the consequences of representing weapons and making violence more acceptable. Google whimpered, standing next to Microsoft for comfort, but it fell on deaf ears and in 2014, Google conformed to the status quo. After all, a language only works if all parties agree on what things mean, otherwise people communicating through different platforms would misunderstand one another, and when it comes to handguns, that could be a deadly mistake. 2016 sets the playing field for a dramatic shift. Apple changes their pistol emoji into a water pistol. Perhaps Google's plea wasn't for nothing after all. We have a responsibility, fellas. We social media platforms are now shaping the discussions young people are having. Perhaps we should strive to move that discussion to a more peaceful place by updating our pistol emoji. Microsoft, who had now been using a toy laser pistol for years, stood up, puffed out its chest, pleased that its message was no longer being ignored, and then updated into a handgun. Oh, Microsoft, you're so unpredictable. 2017, Google, who was all too familiar with the consequences of not conforming, joins Microsoft in its newfound rebellion, Facebook joining soon after. Emojis aren't the ones getting people killed with gun violence, Apple, cried Facebook. The problem goes much, much deeper. We are just pixels on a screen. Emojis don't kill people. Guns, I mean, people kill people. Perhaps we are just pixels, but we're part of modern daily communication. Society has always been shaped by language. Perhaps if that language wasn't as filled with visible guns being glorified as easy solutions to complicated problems, we could get to the heart of the issue. The others listened silently, especially Twitter and Samsung, that hadn't done anything this whole time. The generation growing up now will have never known a world without instant digital communication, a world without the internet, and they'll never have experienced a world where they couldn't send little pixel pictures of a gun to their friend with just a few taps on their smartphones. Perhaps changing the pistol emoji into a water gun won't change society as a whole, but if language shapes the society we live in, don't we owe it to this new digital society to at least try the others were moved by Apple's speech. With tears welling up in their eyes, they took what they had heard into consideration. Also, I'm not changing mine back. So it's just a matter of time before a kid uses our water gun emoji and the other guy receives a pistol emoji and so the kid gets shot uh, because it's a handgun on your device and that's gonna be a lot of really bad PR. And so, all the other platforms changed their emojis into water pistols. Even Samsung and Twitter who hadn't done anything this whole time. And from that moment on, gun crime stopped. And now the only place we can see guns is in the museum. And sometimes archaeologists dig them up like dinosaur bones. And, and then they dig up lots of gun guns. And they put all the guns together and big skeletons made of guns. And they call them gunosauruses. Pow pow! Poo! Pow pow! Poo! Pow, pow.